Hello everybody, Justin here, here to give a new anime review, and this time I'll be reviewing the original Speed Racer series um, in its original title, Mock Go Go Go. And just about almost a year ago, I had the opportunity to finally watch this series in its original Japanese. And like Speed Racer, Mock Go 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 tells its stories in two or three episode arcs, and what you see in Speed Racer and to a, a very certain degree is always faithful to the original Japanese in terms of the context of what the episode was about. I mean, Speed or Mifune Go in the original Japanese version dreams of becoming a racer, but his father Daisuke doesn't want him to become a racer because of what happened to his brother Kenichi, who you mem may remember as Rex. But regardless, Go proves his worth in the first couple episodes and his family proves of his dreams. And throughout the duration of this series, um, Go will not only try to become the world's greatest racer, but will also have to combat terrorism with help from his family, his girlfriend Michi, his mechanic Sabu, and an agent named Rokugo, and the mysterious Fukumen racer. The only notable difference I can point out in execution of the storyline is that in Speed Racer, there is a lot of forced narration, such as every time Racer X would appear, the narrator will always have to say something like, This is Racer X! A note to Speed is that he's his long-lost brother Rex, who ran away many, many years ago! And while in the Japanese version, there is no narrator, you know, telling you this whole story or anything. And one significant scene that is cut from the English version is when the Fukumen racer is helping Go in the episode in which Go was blind from a crash. And Go tells the Fukumen racer while he's carrying him that he reminds him of his brother and that the Fukumen racer, you know, is talking to himself in his mind says that um, he's sorry that he can't reveal himself and that he really cares for Go. I was very upset that this scene was entirely cut out in that episode unless they watched a very wrong version um, please, of the English version, please tell me that I'm wrong, um, that this scene was in it, because I thought this was a very, very good scene. And most of the episodes tend to be very formulaic. In some episodes, as I said before, Go is trying to win a race, but a terrorist organization with ulterior motives ends up interfering, and he must stop them and hopefully get back to the race in time. Or in some episodes, some poor person needs help, and it may not be entirely devoted to developing his racing career. I like how the series shows that helping people and doing the right thing is what really counts even though these situations interfere with your personal goals. And, you know, it just shows to always be selfless. I'm, I'll elaborate more as I get to the conclusion of my review, and for now, I'll give the story and characters an 8 out of 10. So yes, this anime is 50 years old. So fucking what? But I think the age and the re retroness is part of its charm and appeal. The characters are complementary to how Tatsunoko designs, but also has some remaining influential elements of pioneer manga artists such as Ishinomori Shotaro and Tezuka Osamu, especially in the eyes and hair. And the fights. Um, they might not be as elaborate to the extent of Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, but it has unpredictability and suitable techniques. A lot of what Go uses is very in tune with Japanese martial arts such as Karate and Judo, and I feel that the animation team has backgrounds in these martial arts and brings the technical elements in the fights, but of course there is no fluidity and the fights have to end in, let's say, two or three moves like in a real fight where your life is on the line. And of course the father loves to use pro wrestling moves which added continuity to the fights. And there is lots and lots of gun action as well. And last, the bread and butter, the race scenes. They may not have the same thrills as drifting from Initial D or the mysticness of One Gun Midnight, but it brings its own kind of element to it. The races of Mach Go 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 can be deadly, and the anime does a great job of demonstrating that danger that can get explosive as a Michael Bay movie. But to prepare for that danger, Go's Mach, never called the Mach 5 in the original Japanese version, it's just called the Mach, is equipped for every terrain possible that puts four-wheel drive to shame. If you've seen Speed Racer, there is no need to elaborate the features of his car. Who wouldn't want a car like that? Apparently, the influence was James Bond's car. In the Japanese version, during the racing announcements while they were introducing the racers, I remember one of them was one of the racers' name was Yoshida Tatsuo, the creator of the series. As a participant, he was driving the Aston Martin DB7, further complementing this James Bond homage. Yes, it is and undeniably old, but I feel the imagination of this series is what makes it captivating. And for that, 
I give the art and animation another 8 out of 10. Of course, what also adds to the charm of the, of the English version of Mock Go 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 is the high-speed voice acting. Now, having watched the Japanese version, I could see why they said what they did. If you do understand Japanese and know the differences between the you know English and Japanese, you'll understand why. The English version actually translates the dialogue word for word, I mean literally. And in Japanese, some sentences you can say long, um, you can really say short in English, or sometimes you can have long sentences in English, sometimes can be short sentences in Japanese. Um, I remember, what's the name, the Voltron voice cast admitted to having trouble with this um, language barrier difference. Uh, of course, nowadays, when you watch dubs and subtitle versions, you do notice differences in how they deliver the lines, and during the 1960s, they didn't know how to differentiate that, you know, um, work around the language differences. So in the English version, they are saying what was said in the Japanese version, word for word, which I do commend this dub for, but, um, you know... Of course, the way the result was, that whole silly, aha, you must enter the rate speeds, or else you will die, or else a terrorist will attack, you know, something like that. There are easy ways to translate certain things to languages, and cannot really be faithful word to, for word, but remember, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, and, and it's very true in Japanese as well. And the voice cast in the English version was relatively small, and each actor was playing multiple characters, and... Peter Fernandez, God bless this great man's soul, um, who voiced Speed and Racer X, did a great job in distinguishing the characters and how they interact. So um, he also worked on the script as well, and, and I commend him for his effort for you know what he did at his time. And but in the um, Japanese, but the Japanese version does have a who's who's cast, and that is still active in voice acting to this day, and would go on to other iconic roles. Mifune Go was played by, um, yeah, Mori Kasuji. He was the voice of Nephrite and Sailor Moon, uh, Shimamura Joe in the very original Cyborg 009 series, Garmazabi in the original Gundam series, and also played other iconic Tatsunoko characters. Another iconic voice actor is the voice of Utsumi Kenji as um, Rokugo, who was also Inspector Detector in the, original, in the English version. Utsumi Kenji was also be, would become famous as Rao from Hokuto no Ken, Zod from Berserk, Buddha King from Kashern, Coach Kamagawa from Hajime no Ippo, and Colonel Bogan in the Japanese version of Metal Gear Solid 3. And surprisingly, his growly voice sounds the same, but more chummy. As for the music, the original catchy and iconic theme song is the same in Japanese um, in terms of melody and tune, but the hook in the Japanese version tends to have this more militaristic flair to it. And the lyrics is more about winning no matter what, you know, the cost and all that, and, you know, um, you know, losing is not cool. As for the background music, it's the same, and the ending theme is the same, so I leave the music and voice acting at a perfect 10 out of 10. Do I feel that a sub-release is needed for this series? Um, you know, in my personal opinion, I think that would be nice. I think it would be nice to show the world how it was in the original Japanese version. Um, you know, just to have that feeling of what it was originally like, and then to see what it became in the English version and all that other stuff. But moving on, granted the idea of an 18-year-old trying to become a racer and saving the world from terrorists is beyond out of whack in today's world. But I feel for its time, you do get a feel of its imagination. And I feel that's when an animated series knows how to use that and give that to its audience. That alone is what defines the quality of the series. And for that, I give Mach Go 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 an overall score of an 8.5 out of 10.